Welcome back, folks. We are playing Dyson Sphere program, and I am loving it. A lot has happened in between episodes. I have been pre preparing a lot of things for us so that we can finally travel to other stars in, I hope, this episode. So, first of all, I have set up uh, an increased uh, stone production. So, we are producing... 60 uh, stone bricks per second and 30 uh, glass per second as well and that's all going in here and being locally and remotely supplied next we have let me just see where i'm going i'm going over to the other half of the globe i think So here's our old, pitiful production line, which I need to tear out. So over here, I have set up for making our strange matter, which we will start running pretty soon. There are 20 of these set up for producing strange matter. And they produce uh, every eight seconds. So we have four inbound lines in the middle and two outbounds on the outside. We have also made our uh, frame materials. We have a lot stored up and that is also set to be locally supplied and remotely supplied. Now we needed those to build uh, these guys, the miniature particle colliders. And the miniature particle colliders are being made somewhere. Uh, uh, here's an old pitiful thing as well because we set up this one a while ago. So this needs to be torn out. Um, let's see where, oh, and we have Solar Sail Life 5. We are researching at the moment and it looks pretty darn cool. Uh, so miniature particle colliders are being made uh, somewhere here. I'm making miniature particle colliders and they're going in here to be sent out. And this needs to be those. Uh, demand, remote, demand. Actually, remote storage. So let's just quickly go down to the other side of the planet here, or to our research center, and have a look because it looks pretty darn cool, in my opinion. Uh, we have all our uh, matrix labs going, researching. All of the blue science labs are build, building blue cubes. All the reds are building reds. All the yellows are building yellows. And all the purple are building purples. So that looks pretty darn cool in my opinion. It looks pretty darn cool. Uh, so... I also set up... Where is that? And my cat is going nuts. Uh, over here. And I think we'll start by activating over here. Because over here, I have set up a bunch of fractionators to make more deuterium. And for deuterium, we need um, hydrogen. So we're going to locally demand hydrogen and um, to stick some of these in I forgot to do that and once we get this going then I'll also set up remote demand so that we're getting from our gas giant and here we are producing uh, 
to a tramp. But I have made a little mistake here, or uh, I forgot something, because we need to bring the hydrogen out again and send it back down this way and come back in. Stop that. Stop that. There. We need to do that for all of them. I wonder if I can get a line in here. No, I can't. Dang it! That is a big mistake on my part. Big mistake on my part. And I'm also missing some outbounds here. Okay, so what we're going to do instead then... Is let's tear this out. Whoops. I'm going to stick in one of these. Is this the one I want? No. This is the one I want. So we'll do that. And you come in there. And then this needs to come over some. Here. Hopefully that's enough. And we'll come up and in there. That's built. So there. Give me just a second, guys. The cat is going absolutely bonkers. Okay, so I fixed these up so that now they're going. And basically what's happening is that we're turning hydrogen into deuterium. So what I've done is I basically run a belt over top of our outputs circulating the hydrogen into the fractionators and i've done that for all the lines so now we are uh, or have i i missed one i missed one didn't i i missed one of course i missed one why wouldn't i uh, all right well let's fix that last one too uh, there take one back and then we'll run this all the way down here. And I'm stuck. Uh, run this down here. I also haven't set this up as hydrogen. And we need to just Take that back, stick in a splitter, there, and then stick this in there. Make sure that this is the priority input, and then run it back in and run it back in. So now these will keep going in a loop, and out will come deuterium. Very nice. So what's happening is, if we take a look at the uh, recipe, we take one hydrogen and turn it into one deuterium 1% 1 of the time in each of these. So every time 100 hydrogen passes through one of these fractionators, uh, 
it turns one of them into deuterium. And I have set, set up 10 in a line. But there is a diminishing return because, of course, the one hydrogen that turns into deuterium doesn't pass through the next fractionator. So this one is getting 30 a second. Uh, then this one is getting like 29 a second. Uh, I don't, I haven't done the actual math, math, but the further down the line we go, the fewer hydrogen are passing through because we are spending some of it. So there is dim diminishing return. So it's not great to set up 100 in a line because then the last one will only get uh, one, hydro one hydrogen uh, instead of 100, you might say. That wasn't very well, well explained, but that's how it works. But now they're all going, they're all making uh, deuterium. The deuterium is coming out in front here. And we already have uh, more than 5,000, almost 6,000 deuterium. So that is very nice. I am gonna take all this hydrogen, if I can, and stick it in there. Okay, and we have 60 hash per lab researching speed upgrade and we're doing one more of those so we're up to level three of this which means our labs are researching faster which is great and we can't really do any more research until we get green science but we are well on our way to doing that uh, it's not something that's going to happen today but it will it will yeah, no more science to be had until we we get uh, uh, green science cubes going. But we are making deuterium. Okay. Now, over uh, somewhere, I also increased our uh, diamond production. So we have a lot of diamonds being made here. And we have 10,000 diamonds stored, stored up. And this is... Uh, so it takes one uh, energetic graphite to produce one diamond every two seconds. So I have set up 60 uh, uh, smelters, uh, bringing in uh, energetic graphite on the outside, or on the inside, sorry and sending out the diamonds on the outside and they're just going all in the same line here we're producing the fractionators so we have a hundred of those stored up and uh, we need some of these don't actually need some of those but we need some of those and we need those um, storage and we'll set the minimum load of vessels to 10 percent okay now let's find the next things that we have i also upgraded our um, uh, titanium alloy production but it's very very hampered by a lack of um, sulfuric acid but that is something that we're going to solve by going out into the galaxy and finding a sulfuric acid um, lake so what we ultimately want to make in this episode is these the space warpers and they take graviton lenses one graviton lens makes one space warper every two seconds so I have set up a little production line here. It's not huge, but it's enough that we'll be producing quite a few. Over here, we'll be making the graviton lenses. The graviton lenses take strange matter and diamonds. Uh, so that will be coming in. And we'll stick some of those in there as well. We'll do a warper. 100. Local demand, remote storage. 
but we won't activate that just yet because we need to activate the strange matter first. So the strange matter is over here. And the strange matter takes... Uh, let's take a look at one of these. It takes uh, particle uh, containers, iron ingots, and deuterium. And it takes uh, quite a lot of deuterium. Uh, so it takes 10 deuterium every 8 seconds. Two particle uh, containers and two iron ingots. So let's start demanding these. We already have this in here, so local demand, uh, remote. Uh, let's do remote demand as well, actually. And here we'll do local demand, remote demand, local demand, remote demand, and local supply and remote supply is fine. Uh, this needs to be set to 100. There we go. So all of this stuff is now going to be coming in. And I upgraded the particle container production as well. It's right here. So that we're getting more of those in. I don't know if it's enough. I don't think so. But it's something. Here comes some iron. And we already have some deuterium. Or we already have some... We have particle containers, we're waiting for some deuterium. And here comes the deuterium, and these guys are up and running. Outstanding, and there was our first uh, strange matter. Very, very nice, and research speed level 3 is done. So that's strange matter going, and... Should be getting all the way down here. I did the math. So. Yeah, it's coming all the way down. These take a lot of power 12 megawatts a piece. And we have 20 of them. So that's 240 megawatts right there that we're spending. So we're actually spending 600 megawatts of power right now. But we're making strange matter. And that's what's important. Not in vast quantities, but we're making them. We're making them. Storage. So, yeah. And we, we could increase the length of these, but we're running some, to some crude oil, and I think for now, I really just want to get the first space warpers going, so that we can go out and check out uh, the universe. So now that we have strange matter going, that means that we can get uh, graviton lenses going. So let's uh, demand those, and uh, not ten thousand. Let's just say a thousand and local demand. Let's uh, let's say two thousand. And uh, storage. So we have those on the way in. A lot of diamonds, not so many uh, strange matter. But here comes some. And you can see here, I actually have diamonds going out on the other side because I want to double up on this. At some point, I just haven't set up the machines yet. Here comes the strange matter, and we are producing uh, graviton lenses. Outstanding. Why are they going out? Uh, we have local supply on those. Uh, did I already set that up, this up? I did. So local demand road storage. We have 21 of those. And here come the first... Uh, let's just do local storage, remote storage, because I want to grab a few space warpers. You can change it afterwards. They're still going out. Where where are they going? Oh, they're going in here first. That makes sense. So it's supplying them to 
the Interstellar Logistics Station first. I wonder how many that can hold. 50? Maybe? Hopefully not 100. We already have 47, 48, 49, 50. And now they're going in here. Wonderful. So all of these are going. Fantastic. This is awesome. Uh, I don't want 10,000 of those. I want, let's say, 1,500. It's fine. And we have 50 space warpers that we can grab for ourselves. This is amazing. I want to grab uh, like a couple of hundred or something, and we're going to need some things. We're going to need some of these. Let's grab 50 is fine. We're going to need some of these. Fine. We can probably do with some foundations. Miners. We have kind of smelters. We have let's grab some foundations. They're over here, I think. There they are. And maybe a little bit of belt. A little bit of belt. We have a lot of belt. So there. <laughs> that doesn't leave a lot of space in the inventory, but that's okay. That's okay. Fill up on some fuel. And let's go see how the space warpers are doing. Man, I can't wait to go into space. Go to another star. Uh, I wonder how much these stack in. 100. Okay. So let's do local supply, remote supply. We don't need a 200, let's just do a 100. And now, let's find out where we want to go. Oh man, I love all these things going around. So, uh, is it this one? No. We want to go to Musida, I think. Sulfuric Acid Ocean and Kimberlite Ore. This is where we want to go, Musida. Uh, you also have some interesting stuff, but Musida is first and foremost because of sulfuric acid. So that is where we're aiming to go. That is definitely where we're aiming to go. That's an M-type star. We're on a G-type star. Okay. Let's head into space and see if we can't find Mushida. Hafalidna? Where is Mushida, I wonder? Um, let's... I think if we... Go out here... Um, Mushida, I think... I think we can pin it somehow. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure how. Uh, 
this is off camera stops following the planet that has free to move okay. but I want to follow oh, okay but I want to uh, want to pin it how the heck do I pin it okay, so Kafalidma is there Mashida is there so if we find Kafalidma which was somewhere there Mushida, there it is let's pin it is it pinned now or I think it's pinned now but I'm not sure Let's make our heading that way. Uh, I think we can hit tab there. And then we need to hit caps lock. I don't know if we have to hold it down or what we do, but... Oh, not enough space warper. I need to put some space warper in here. Cool, cool. Let's try this. Caps lock. You just have to tap it. And off we go towards Mushida. This is so cool. Man, I love this game. Uh, let's see. Heading that way. And we are almost there. We're more than halfway there. planets here so let's shut down the warp engine Mushida 2 and Mushida 1 uh, let's just there are only two planets here so I'm guessing this one is the one with sulfuric acid yeah volcanic ash planet and Mushida 2 uh, an arid desert with kimberlite or 620,000 kimberlite. Ooh, they, that has a lot of wind energy. Not so much solar. But we've got to go to Mushida 1. Ooh, and one thing I forgot is that we're going to need water extractors, which we are not producing and we don't have. And we don't have any uh, materials either. So we're going to have to head back to Ayota Buddhist and set up making some of those. But let's just get over here and see what the planet looks like. First time visiting a planet in a new star system. Man, I love this game. It is so cool, man. It is so cool. Okay. So we have titanium, we have iron, we have silicon. Uh, we have copper. We actually have kind of stuff. 15 million iron, 18 million copper, almost 2 million silicon, 12 million titanium, tiny bit of coal. Solar energy is good. Man, it's cool. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Let's find an, uh, a volcanic ocean. There it is. Or a sulfuric ocean. That is sulfuric acid right there. Oh man. <laughs> and we can do this to get some soil pile. We're not going to be paving over any of the ocean on this planet. That's for damn sure. Look at all the soil power we can get here. We're up to 600,000 soil pile. Nice. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Well, uh, let's find the equator. We 
generator is here. And power, we don't have that many solar panels on us. But that's okay. Because we can request them. So, whoops. So basically, right now, I just want the sulfuric acid from here, and the one thing I don't have is the building to get it. So that's brilliant. Let's just set up some of these solar panels. And... Then in between episodes, I'll go get some um, some uh, water extractors, so that we can actually get this beautiful, beautiful sulfuric acid going. It's not there. Where is the sulfuric acid? Here it is. Some of it, at least. How much is there? Uh, so there's that one. Then there's. Well, there might. Yeah, there's some there. Ooh, there's a big one. Big lake of sulfuric acid. Wonderful. I think that's where we'll. Start setting up to get sulfuric acid. Man, it's cool. Uh, but before we head home, and before we end the episode, let's just find Mushida 2 and head over there and see what that looks like. Because I'm curious. And here we are. Wow, that is sandy. Kimberlite vein. Cool. Just want to see. These these look cool. 628,000 Kimberlite. Uh, where is it? There it is. Kimberlite ore. Rare ore. Directly crystallized from Kimberlite magma under CO2 rich conditions. And diamond can obtain by further smelting. Okay. So. That's basically 628,000 diamonds that we have there. In that little thing. That's pretty sweet. What else does this planet have? Tiny bit of iron, good amount of copper, good amount of titanium, a lot of stone, tiny bit of coal. Mm. No ocean, so it's all soil. Very cool. Very, very cool indeed. Very, very, very cool. Uh, so we want to find uh, Iota Buddhas. We want to find Iota Buddhas. And caps lock. Warp engine starts, and off we are to Iota Buddhas. So I will fix up some water extractors for the next episode, and uh, then I'll see you back on Mushida 2 to, to pick up our sulfuric acid. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.